Princess Eugenie is about to celebrate her five-year wedding anniversary, so I thought this is the perfect opportunity to look back at the guests at her wedding to see how they interpreted an autumnal wedding guest look. Autumn is a wonderful time of year for fashion, it's not quite winter, so it's warm enough to leave the house without a heavy woolen coat. But the cooler weather coming in invites the use of deeper, darker jewel tones that seem too strong for sunny summer weather. But what hats does one wear during this transitional season? Hello and welcome to a millinery hat commentary video. My name is Ilona, I am a milliner based in London and today I will be looking at the colours and textures of autumnal wedding guest hats at Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooksbank's October wedding of 2018. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more millinery fashion deep dives and tutorials. Also click that notification bell so you'll never miss my latest video. Now get your fashion critique hats on and let's get started. Bordeaux is a stunning colour for an autumnal wedding guest outfit. It speaks of the changing of the seasons as we watch leaves turn from summer green to autumn brown. Demi Moore wears this colour very well. It matches her complexion and dark straight hair. Her fascinator features a mouth-length veil decorated in crystals and a sculptural abaca trim. She completes her outfit with a matching satin handbag and the most stunning shoes with gold leather accents. The crystals on the veil pick up on the gold accents in the shoes and the hardware on the handbag. Usually I'm not the biggest fan of fascinators, but Demi carries this one off so very well. A larger hat might have overwhelmed the outfit and instead of seeing Demi, we would have just seen a wall of Bordeaux. Catherine, the Princess of Wales, looks lovely in this berry colour. Once again, a perfect choice for a transitional season. This burgundy Philip Tracy hat is a velvet-covered perching beret trimmed with sculptural flowers and a veil. This velvet is picked up on in the shoes and the matching clutch bag. I love how the whole outfit is monotone with the accessories being accented in the darker burgundy compared to the bright and joyous berry of the dress. I think this is my favourite look of the whole event. Colour blocking is perfect for autumn as it gives you the chance to be bold and play with your favourite colours. When colour blocking it is important to balance out the colours so they aren't competing with each other. When I say balance out, I don't mean have the colours in totally equal proportions, but rather choose one dominant, one secondary and one accent. Natalie's most prominent colour is the gorgeous Cerise, which takes up the majority of her outfit and is reinforced with her perching hat of the same colour. Her secondary colour is a teal used in the off-shoulder bishop sleeve top. The accent is very autumn appropriate golden yellow, used sparsely only in the belt. These three colours form a triadic colour scheme, meaning that they are equidistant from each other on the colour wheel. In all, this is a perfect example of an outfit where the hat, due to being very plain and simple, is a totally integrated part of the whole look. If you are not into colour blocking, you can pick up on the accent colour of the floral pattern in your dress. A silky satin floral covered wrap dress doesn't exactly scream autumn, but I wanted to include this look as a wonderful example of how to pick a hat to complement a very loudly patterned dress. The majority bright pink disc hat picks up on the lighter pink hibiscus pattern. The hat also contains elements of the darker purples as can be found on the darker leaves surrounding the flowers. I think this is very clever and an easy trick if you want to wear a floral dress with your hat. Black isn't a colour I would usually recommend, especially at a wedding, however Naomi Campbell looks stunning in her black and white Ralph and Russo tweed dress. I love how she's accessorised with black gloves. Of course the hat is stunning, it's by Philip Tracy. It's one of his classic cinema disc designs complete with an embellished rose. Crystal decoration definitely seems to be a prevailing theme among this wedding's guests. 
Being a transitional season, autumn is a rare occasion where if you mix heavy tweeds with lightweight cinema hats, I think you can get away with it, especially as in this case, the hat is made to look a little heavy with the crystal embellished black rose. Cara Delevingne is following in the decades long trend of ladies wearing masculine fashions. Most famously, this look was worn by Marlena Dietrich in the film Morocco from 1930. Cara has modernised the look by ditching the bow tie and opting for a modern skinny tie instead. I personally prefer Marlene's look with the classic white bow tie, but it's nice to see such a bold fashion choice out in the modern world today. Also, notice how Marlene is wearing her top hat angled and tilted forwards. Cara's interpretation of wearing it backwards on her head reminds me of how the artful Dodger might wear his top hat from Charles Dickens' Oliver Twist. A striking hat in a striking colour for a striking woman. If you are dressing as the mother of the bride, you should definitely consider Sarah Ferguson as your inspiration. Wearing a bold single block colour and an expressive hat is the way to go. Sarah, Duchess of York, looks stunning in the jewel tone emerald colour. It contrasts and complements her red hair very well. As mother of the bride, it is important to be able to sound out from the other guests, and Sarah has accomplished just that. Her hat is a straw boater trimmed with a pleated structured bow. There are three things I really like about this hat. Number one, it clearly expresses the personality of the wearer, which is the most important thing a hat should do. Number two, it is original. It's not a traditional upswept brim trimmed with flowers and feathers that is normally worn by a mother of the bride. And number three, it's not too big. This point is super important to consider for the wedding photos. If you are a member of the bridal party, you don't want your hat to be so large as to obstruct the other people in the photos. As you can see, the brim just skims Sarah's shoulder width. No autumnal colour palette would be complete without a deep forest green dress. As well as being a seasonal colour, it is also a very seasonal cut. The dress looks like it is made in a crepe fabric and features long tailored sleeves and a mock neck collar. The hat is of course a perfect match in the same green and is made from felt so it matches the heavy texture of the crepe dress fabric. Princess Beatrice has clearly mirrored her sister's chosen tiara shape, which I think is a really sweet touch. I can't quite tell if her outfit is navy or just a very cool toned purple, but either way, as it is such a strong block colour, she very much stands out in it. Her hat is a crescent halo headband shape with an extra bit of fabric draped artfully across the top. I like to joke about navy blue being seen as a neutral colour here in Britain. We seem to have it everywhere. The obsession starts in school where we wear it as a uniform and then when you get older, if you are in a uniform wearing job, chances are that'll be navy too. If you need a suit for work, you'll probably get one in navy and when you need a winter coat, guess what? You'll probably buy a navy one as well. Anyway, apart from navy being the uniform of Britain, it is also a lovely colour for autumn. Chelsea Davies' take on navy is to texturise it with a lace dress overlay. This is a really fun way to add some variety into what in Britain can be quite a monotonous colour. Her hat is a felt disc trimmed on the underside with a stunning blue rose. Her bag is a mock croc leather and her shoes are suede. She really is playing with all the textures here. I couldn't identify this lady or this hat, so if you know who this is or who the milliner was, do let me know in the comments. I wanted to include this hat as an interesting modern take on working with traditional feathers. I'm pretty certain these are trimmed turkey quills that have been glammed up by adding a gold speckle to them. Even though we haven't seen many feathers on the hats I have chosen to spotlight so far, they are seen as a quintessential autumnal hat trimming, as is of course the colour navy, a true British classic. Zara Phillips' outfit is a perfect example of how to wear a hat that contrasts with your main outfit.
Her dress is a solid block blue colour, just as we have seen on many other guests, whereas her hat is a lovely soft silver grey. The cool tones of the hat match the cool tones of the blue dress, so they complement each other very well. She has accessorised with grey shoes and a grey letter clutch to match the hat. The periwinkle in Poppy's Oscar de la Renta dress is a lovely, soft, cool blue, perfect for the transitional season, referencing the cooling of the weather. Her hat is a really fun button topped with upward plumes of feathers and a crystal embellished veil. I'm not sure I would have gone with the black shoes though, as there is nothing else black in Poppy's outfit. The hat is by Victoria Grant and I really encourage you to check out her work as it is so fun and like nothing else I've seen before. What an awesome look to wear to a wedding. Lady Melissa is wearing a very 70s style jumpsuit paired with a peaked beret in the same periwinkle colour. I find it interesting that such a casual hat can be really dressed up depending on what it is worn with. In this case, the billowy bishop sleeves with long cuffs and wide trousers give the jumpsuit such elegance that pairing it with such a casual hat creates a very cohesive look where no single item is the star of the show. You would think that this icy blue is more suited to a summer wedding, however, it is made transitional by the addition of the warm golden brown trim on her late majesty's hat. The golden quill is exquisitely shaped and the gilding is carried through into the centre of the feather arrangement. Queen Elizabeth has picked up on the blingy crystal theme worn by the other guests, but in her case it is of course with a real diamond brooch. Gold detailing is very autumnal indeed. Ellie's hat has quite clearly been made with her dress in mind. It is a large button beret in the same icy blue as her dress. To match the mini gold polka dots, her hat is covered in a gold veil. This is a really neat trick in a milliner's arsenal to bring a new dimension to an otherwise plain material. I like to do this myself, as you can see in my Beau Delicious model and in my Luxuriant Lilies model. Let's finish on some unconventional colours for an autumnal event. I wouldn't immediately jump to bright sunshine yellow for an autumn wedding. However, this outfit is made more seasonal by the stripes of golden brown fabric running down the length of the dress. However, the hat still looks too summery in my opinion. It's a super fun little perching beret with its rainbow chenille dotted veil and raspberry feather holder, but I can't help feeling like this is more appropriate for a warmer and sunnier August wedding. Another unconventional colour to wear to any wedding is white. I'm not sure why Ida Field thought this was good for a wedding, but it does look very nice on her. This is another Philip Tracy hat with a blocked circular nose veil worn very close to the face. The teardrop percha is covered in the same off-white satin fabric as her suit and is trimmed with a sculptural abaca flourish. Am I being a little old-fashioned here or do you also think that you shouldn't wear white as a wedding guest? Let me know what you think in the comments. If you are looking to complete your own autumnal wedding guest outfit, I recommend you check out my Hip Hip Hooray vintage style teardrop percha hat. It's trimmed with a vintage silk satin chocolate ribbon and a spray of lacquered vintage rose hip buds and blackberries. Made in a dominant jewel purple wool felt, it is the perfect way to accessorise your outfit. You can purchase the Hip Hip Hooray hat from the link in the description box. I hope you've had a wonderful time looking through the stunning autumnal millinery on display at Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooksbank's 2018 wedding. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click that notification bell to never miss a video. Please do also leave me a comment about which look was your favourite. You can follow me on all the socials listed here and sign up to my mailing list all about hats right up here. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!